Jake Brandon here, and this evening I am joined by Logan Peely. Logan, what's up, man? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing great. It's good to have you here. Appreciate it. We've got to talk uh, about, you know, your mission. You recently got over your mission. We got to talk about Tim Few High School football. We got to talk about your brothers. We got to talk about what it's like coming into a D1 program. We got a lot to talk about. So let's start off with most recently your mission. Tell us where'd you serve? How was it? Anything you want to share about that? I see. Yeah, I was uh, I was originally called to Samoa because um, of COVID. I was reassigned to go to Vancouver, Washington, which was uh, definitely total opposites <laughs> between the islands and the Northwest. So it was a good experience that I was able to have. I made a lot of relationships and was able to build my own testimony in the gospel. And uh, I definitely going to cherish those moments and remember those moments that I had and apply it to daily life as well so I think uh, overall it was definitely worth it it was 10 out of 10 so uh, I'm glad that I, I was able to serve Keenan mentioned to me one time that he was like a little bit like reluctant to serve like he was like ah I did kind of do but I'm not so sure and then um, you know Trajan kind of like watching Trajan go out and all that stuff I like, really helped him want to go did you have similar feelings or what were your thoughts about serving Oh yeah, no, I was pretty much similar. I was both my brothers. They kind of, <clears throat> kind of helped me go on a mission. They kind of, I kind of had one-on-one conversations with them, and we kind of talked about what the mission is like, what to expect, uh, knowing when you're ready, I guess, kind of stuff like that. And uh, they kind of really helped prep me and and push me, as well as my parents as well. Um, but that was a big turning point is, is being able to talk to my brothers and seeing how their lives turned out right now and then just seeing the blessing that came from it so i, I made that choice to go on a mission it's great so you can be reluctant you can be a little reluctant oh, yeah. you can oh, still yeah. have a great mission experience right Most definitely for anyone out there who might be like ah, I don't you'll know. always be like that so. yeah yeah it'd be like that for the first few months oh, right yeah. <laughs> like oh, what yeah. am i doing here? first beginning it, yeah it's gonna be hard yeah. it's definitely mission's meant to be hard so well, it's great that you had brothers to kind of like blaze a trail for you and be a mentor to you. And it's the same thing with you coming to BYU, right? You've got Trajan who was there. You've got uh, Keenan who was there. And now it's like your time to be there. Have they done the same thing for preparing you to come to BYU? Oh, yeah. Since the uh, first day I got back from the mission, went straight to workouts, worked out with my brothers, did field work. So they're, they're kind of all working together with me, which is nice. I get to kind of get the best of both worlds on that they both trade and play d-line keenan at backers so i kind of get to pick and choose the tools that they give me <laughs> and, and be able to to be the best i can so that, that definitely helps you're spoiled man honestly yeah no, it's, it's, it's kind of nice being the youngest <laughs> yeah dude and how long how long you been back now you've been back for a couple months march 1st march 1st back, so because you're actually looking like we haven't, I haven't seen you in a few months but you're actually looking quite a bit bigger you've been hitting the weights hard trying yeah we were getting workouts in and working out with the team now, so it's, it's all slowly coming together, getting the body right. So, as of this year, is the plan gray shirt? Is the plan red shirt? Is the plan compete for minutes? What's the plan right now? Right now, so I'll be either probably probably a red shirt. I'm thinking that's what I'm leaning towards, unless depending on whether injuries or or how things play out. If I have a, have a good fall camp, but at the moment I'm I'm on scholarship, so I'll be with the team i'll be doing things with them and we'll kind of just see how the season goes from there the cool thing now about redshirt is you can actually play yeah. quite a bit yeah you can play four games so i think i think they'll kind of ease out on that and see what four games look like and who knows who knows what could happen so yeah and how's keenan doing i heard he's all good to go he's cleared he can uh he's running around we kind of do some field work together and trying to get the the motions back so but he's, he's definitely looking good he's uh pushing weight he's moving around so great so tell me for those who maybe not in utah or maybe don't follow high school sports as much you played at timview high school which is one of the most competitive high schools historically right in the state so tell us about your time at timview oh timview was good i'm actually glad i was able to to play at timview i mean you're surrounded by d1 talent pretty much around the whole uh, team and as well as the coaches, being able to be coached by some top-tier coaches is, is pretty nice. And, and we can see it in 
the season. I mean, we'll, we'll make it to stay. We'll win these big games, and uh, I've definitely had some good memories there up in Tipview and uh, being with some brothers up there. And even this summer came to Tipview, so I mean, I'll, be, I'll still be playing with some uh, some close players that I was able to in high school. So, who nice. are some of the guys you knew from Tipview High that are going to be on the Cougars right now? So they'll be. I played with Raider. I played with uh, Logan Fano. I played with uh, Mac. He'll be coming back from his mission. Um, who else is here? Sony Maxini. He's a lineman. Um, and I think that's about it, I'm pretty sure. But I apologize if I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. There's a lot of good, there's a lot of Timview connection here oh, in Provo. Yeah. There's some people who come to Timview to get a better look from Provo. Oh, yeah. Right? Nah, you have that experience? A lot of people will come in and join the team, whether it's from, like, from Hawaii or California. It's kind of a whole... Just because of the exposure. At right. Tempio, you get a lot of exposure to, to teams and colleges, and the coach's whole goal is to, to get you to the next level. So that was always nice in that uh, time. Okay, so you got like an insider's peek or perspective into the team this year, into the defense. And you probably weren't following at least a lot of the games last year. Probably scores. Probably scores, reports. Definitely saw some scores. So what are, what are you thinking about this year? How are things looking? What are your expectations this year for the team in general, the defense, who you're spending more time with, all that? Oh, yeah. I, I think, I mean, the expectations are definitely high with uh, the teams we have aligned with. But I think with the tools that we have and the depth that we have, whether it be on offense or defense, I think we can pretty much execute each game, game by game, as long as our, uh, our mentals are good. So I think we could definitely perform and then be the best that we can as a team. And I think I think we could uh, have an undefeated season for sure. I mean, it's possible. So, Yeah, do you think the schedule is a good enough test that uh, you have an undefeated season or a one-loss season? You're looking at, like, maybe a New Year's Six game, maybe a playoff game. What do you think? Oh, yeah. With the, the amount of uh, uh, talent that we're playing and then big teams that we're playing, I, I definitely think we should have a shot if we, we come to that performance. So. Are you facing off against any teammates uh, this season? Are you going to be across the sideline from anybody you know of? Not that I can think of at the moment. Maybe, maybe a few. I, I'd have to go in depth on them. Go check the teams, on that. But definitely. Yeah. Is there a game you're excited to play? Like, is there someone that you're like, ooh, you know what? That's going to be a cool game to be in. Like, maybe one of my four games, I could get some time there. Yeah. I might looking at the schedule. It's either Notre Dame or Oregon. I think those are the the top two that I look forward to just because Raider Stadium I heard a lot of good stories from that at least from my family when they played Arizona last year about the atmosphere in that oh, place it was so I mean I mean I think that would be pretty cool to play in NFL Stadium and Oregon as well I mean it's did, Oregon did they tell you they t- <laughs> yeah right, right did they tell you how well Cougar Nation showed out at Vegas last time I heard it was packed I Dude. heard more than Arizona and just all around it's significantly more and then like we were like we went to get sushi before the game, like four or five miles away, and like they're just crossing the street, That's royal crazy. blue everywhere, dude. It was like the entire oh, yeah. entire end of Vegas was just royal. That's so sick. It was. It's gonna be good, and it's good. Like there's already people just hounding the ticket office, like when do tickets go on oh, sale? Yeah. When do tickets I go bet, on sale? Honestly, so that one's gonna be fun. There's a lot of hype around that one oh, for yeah. sure. Um, so Keenan, he got. I I had heard he was kind of a little bit on track to play last year. Ball out and then maybe get a shot at the league. Is that an accurate assessment, do you think? Oh, yeah. I, I, I have confidence in him for sure, yeah. Yeah, so his injury, I mean, kind of made it so this year, I mean, he's still on track to do that, but it's kind of an important year to like show, like, hey, I'm 100% and I yeah. haven't lost a step yeah. and all that. You think he's he knows that? He's taking that accountability? Oh, yeah. I think uh, when, when it comes that time on, on that first game, I think he'll be ready to, to, to pad up and to play all and, right. and to be able to perform to the best ability he can, and uh, I definitely have confidence that he'll be able to, to do that. Okay, so. so who's better at top golf, you or Keenan? Hey, I mean, you've seen it. <laughs> you've, seen, you've seen what happened last time. I was, I was swinging it versus him, so, I mean, just look at the scores. So. <laughs> you going uh, Angry Birds or actual playing top Angry golf? Birds. Angry Birds. Angry Birds where it's at, is, right? That was fun. Yeah. I enjoyed that. So. Injectable donuts or wings? I'd have to say the... The mac and cheese. The mac and cheese <laughs> bites. Yeah, you just go, go out there. The mac and yeah. cheese bites. Those, those Do we get a second order of those? 
Yeah, I we, think we, we did. Got like three of them. <laughs> I remember. That was, a, that was a good time. I never had those before, so it was good. Yeah. I heard Missionary Mall wants to do one again. Yeah? Yeah, so oh, maybe yeah. we'll get lucky. For sure. If you get lucky, they'll pony up some dough and we can oh, yeah. go do it again. That was a good time. Did you have a good time with that? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That was good. It's always good to interact with Cougar Nation. They just love you guys, show out. Appreciate support that. you guys. Yeah. yeah. That was fun. Is there anyone uh, you need to shout out? Anything you need to say before we go? Anything we should be looking forward to or know about? Just go Cougs. I mean, you already know what the deal is. Uh, this upcoming season will be good, and uh, we hope to satisfy everyone, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. But, yeah, I'm excited. It'll be fun. Good. I'm excited to see. I think you got, I think you got, you know, big star potential. And I've thought that about you since high school. And uh, I'm excited to go see you get a chance to, you know, get your toes wet in the pool this year. And then, oh, yeah. you know, down the road, go and be one of those big stars. Just like all the Peely boys are, right? Like, yes, sir. Go show out. So. Still got a couple years, which is nice. So Yeah. Well, thank you for coming on. I appreciate you coming in and talking thank ball you. with us and letting us get ready for the season with you and all that. So Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Take it easy. We'll thank you. It. Crew Board's out. <laughs>